my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing another video for you guys i had a few uh followers on my instagram ask me that i should do a reading in regards to your crush so that's what we're gonna look into we're gonna stalk them we're gonna see if they're interested in you uh this is going to be for all 12 zodiacs so if you're interested and you like these videos definitely subscribe so that you can get um updates on the videos that are going up we have tons of spell videos coming up tons of readings coming up as well uh like i said if you enjoy these definitely comment below and let me know how are you guys doing i hope you guys are doing amazing how's the weather treating you guys out here in california it's a bit crazy it's like hot one freaking day the other day is like freaking cold rainy it's just so weird um so anyways, all right, let's get into the readings. Let's see what spirit has. We're going to start with Aries. So let's see what, oh, Aries, you keep getting cards that are popping out. I'm just not feeling them. All right, so let's see what your interest or the person you're interested in, Aries. Let's see if they are interested in you. Let's see what they feel. In regards to the connection with you Aries Sun Moon rising and Venus show me the feelings or intentions of Aries crush are they interested in them okay here we go so the first card we have the ace of swords so the Ace of Swords is communication. You may already be in communication with this person. We have the Two of Swords here. So you may be dealing with Air Energy, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This can also represent that you're very much in your head about this, um, this crush or this person that you're interested in, Aries. They may be a bit difficult to read or they may be at the moment emotionally unavailable, meaning they are not really looking for a relationship at the present time. It could be that they are, it could be that there is communication because it could be a friend. It could be someone that uh, you are in communication or in contact with. However, it is for a crush. So it could represent that you may not or they may not actually be even aware that you're interested in them in the romantic sense. Now, the next card is the justice card here. So the justice card could represent needing to have some type of balance in this connection. I feel for the majority of you guys, this person may not be aware that you're interested in them or vice versa, meaning that they feel um, that at the moment they can't really open up. It could be that they're coming out of some type of karmic cycle. However, I do see the communication there. Um, so again, I feel that with the two of swords here, there is a need to either speak up or to be blunt in regards to how you feel about this person or allow them to understand that you are romantically interested in them. However, if they are aware, um, and you guys are technically communicating because you like each other, it could be that they may take a while before to actually open up because I do see them again, like I said, a bit guarded. Okay. All right. Let's get into Taurus. Let's see what spirit has. Please show me the intentions or feelings of the person of interest for Taurus, their crush. What is it that they feel? Are they interested in Taurus? Okay, your first card here is the Queen of Wands. You may be dealing with Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, um, Leo, sorry. <laughs> Could also represent that it's a very, um, they see you as a very beautiful person. Physically, they are very attracted to you. The next card here, we have the Justice card again. Justice card could represent, um, they're trying to make a decision or figure out if these, if this relationship or connection is worth pursuing. So I feel that they're very aware of who you are. Obviously, they see you as a very attractive individual or they're very physically attracted to you. However, 
they are feeling like they need to make some type of discernment in regards to how they want to proceed. The next card here is the Ten of Wands. Could be that they have a lot of issues that they're working on right now. Could be um, in regards to their life, their family, responsibilities that they have. So I feel that that could be the reason why they're still deliberating whether they want to pursue this connection or not. Could be because they have a lot on their plate at the present time. However, I do see them definitely interested in you, Taurus. All right, let's get into Gemini. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Is their crush or person of interest interested in them? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Okay. First card here is the Ten of Pentacles. This could be an individual that is either around your inner circle uh, or that knows your family or that is close to home. The next card is the Temperance card. May be dealing with Earth energy here. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. You may also be dealing with a Sagittarian type of energy. However, this does not have to be their signs. It could just be the energy that they're taking on. The next card here is the Eight of Pentacles. So yeah, I definitely see them being very interested in you, Gemini. I feel that they're not looking for anything that is temporary. I feel that they are in search of some type of stability. Whoops, we got cards flying out. Sorry, you guys. <laughs> Give me one second. Okay. So like I was saying, I feel that they are definitely interested in you uh gemini um but there may be some type of i don't want to say they're trying to figure you out they're trying to figure out if you know it's worth pursuing because at this present time in their life they're looking for what is stable what is stability they're wanting or looking for something that could have um you know to start off building on a solid foundation. So I definitely see them uh, interested in you. They are looking at you as a potential with the eight of pentacles here. I feel that they will open up or they will uh, be willing to uh, get to know you on a deeper level. But with the temperance at the present time could represent that at the present or in the moment right now, they're still kind of iffy. They're unaware. Um, not unaware they're a bit confused in regards to if they want to open up to you and it could be because they see you as a free spirit it could be that they see you around a lot of people a lot of friends um it could be that you're around the opposite sex and it could be a bit intimidating for them uh so i feel like they don't really know you on a deeper level um they are intimidated by your surroundings so whether it be you have a lot of friends whether it's that you go out, you travel a lot, a lot, sorry, or whether it's that you surround yourself or have a tendency of surrounding yourself with the opposite sex, um, it could be intimidating for them, kind of like, oh, you know, Gemini's probably a player, that type of energy, but they do see potential in the growth of this connection, okay? All right, let's get into Cancer. Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirits, let me, allow me to see cancer's person of interest or their crush are they interested in them okay so the first card here we have the ace of wands there's a new beginning that's coming um for you cancers i feel that there's going to be an opportunity that is going to open up it could be that you guys happen to bump uh with each other either at you know uh, a social outing, uh, you may be running errands or whatnot and bump into them. There is an opportunity here to open communication or to start communication for those of you guys that um, haven't really dealt. You're just crushing on someone with the Ace of Wands. This is definitely a new beginning. There is um, very intense uh, physical attraction here with the Three of Wands as well. I do see them looking towards you and seeing them as wanting to start something new or wanting to start a new connection. Um, now we also have the Empress. So you guys have beautiful cards. There's a lot of intensity here. There's a lot of passion here as well. And what they're saying here is that you will get the opportunity to um, 
either want to pursue this connection or see where it can actually go. They see you as a very attractive individual. They're definitely, definitely sexually attracted to you. Uh, that's for sure with the Empress card here. Um, so that's a definite yes, they are definitely interested in you. Okay. All right, so now let's get to Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Is their person of interest or their crush interested in them? Okay. Leo, your first card here is the World card. Um, there is going to be, an, I feel that there's an ending cycle and this could represent the person that you're interested in. Uh, it could represent that they're coming out of some type of long-term relationship or they're ending a karmic cycle, um, which is renewed energy that's coming through. The next card here is the two of wands. So yeah, they're definitely looking at you. Uh, potentially they could be seeing you as a great, um, they see the value in you. They see that you are uh, presently a person that they would like to put effort and energy towards pursuing. Um, what I'm getting is they, they see that there is some type of high expectation. It could be that the person themselves are, are trying to continue building or trying to grow. Um, they may be a bit intimidated by you. Um, I'm hearing like uh, kind of feeling like you may not be interested in them. So it could be that that situation where you're crushing on them, they're crushing on you, but no one's making a move. And I feel that they may not be making a move because they feel that they may be rejected or that you may want more uh, in regards to probably feeling unworthy. Not you, but them. Uh, feeling like they are unworthy or feeling like you would never, you know, give them the opportunity here. The next card here is the Two of Cups. So very beautiful energy. I do see both of you guys being interested in each other. You definitely acknowledge each other and the connection. Um, but there is definitely some type of shyness here that I'm sensing. Almost like not wanting to uh, make the first move. For some of you guys, for others of you that have already made the first move or you guys are currently in communication, it is going to progress. There's an ending cycle, an elevation. If you guys are currently friends, it's going to elevate into a relationship. It's going to move forward, um, making it more official. If you guys are currently not official, it may turn into a uh, girlfriend, boyfriend type of thing. So Beautiful. All right, let's get into Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirits, show me. Virgo's interest or crush, are they interested in Virgo? All right, your first card here is the Nine of Pentacles. So they definitely see you as a very, um, they see you as the whole package, Virgo. They see you as a person that is extremely motivated, uh, extremely stable or financially stable. They see you really, you know, shining basically is what they're showing me here. And it could be fear that's holding them back. We have the Eight of Swords here. So it's almost like when you are interested in an, in an individual and at the present time in your life, there is a bit of constraint or there is a bit of like, uh, you know, feeling stuck, feeling like you're not really moving forward. And here you are shining, getting all of this attention uh, or doing really good. And they're seeing you big, make big moves. There is intimidation there. And I feel that that's the reason why they're not moving forward or they're not presently uh, pursuing you, Virgo. And it could be because, again, they feel like you would either shut them down or they feel like you're too good for them. I kind, I'm hearing they're putting you on a pedestal. Um, keep in mind, you guys, it could be vice versa because it is a general reading. But we are making the reading specifically about your crush. So I feel that they may be a bit 
in their head about how they pursue you or how they want to move forward. But we do have the Sun card here. So again, I definitely do, and this is kind of what I was sensing. This is how they're viewing you, uh, Virgo. They're seeing you as a person that is very fulfilled or very happy. You have a lot of things going on in your life right now. Um, this could be even friends communicating to them about you or what you're doing, how you're doing. Uh, so there's definitely some intimidation there. It could be that they're just not there right now in their life or they don't feel stable in some area of their life. Uh, and that could be what's pushing them or what not, what's not allowing them to move forward towards you. All right, let's get to Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Let's see if your crush or person of interest is interested in you, Libra. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Is their person of interest or crush interested in them? Okay. Your first card here is the Queen of Cups. So the Queen of Cups is being emotionally available, emotionally open. I feel that the person uh, that you're crushing on or the person that you're interested in is a person that has experienced a lot of difficulties in their life. Uh, this is a person that is wise beyond their years, regardless of age, regardless if they're younger than you or they're older than you. And the reason why I say that is because they're telling me there's an age dis decrep uh, discrepancy, and it could just represent that they are a few years younger or a few years older than you. Um, but I do see them being very mature for their age. This is an individual that has their emotions in control. They definitely know what it is that they want. And as you can see here, the queen is protected by a shell um, and the shell is open, which is a representation that they are ready to love or that they are um, emotionally available to start some type of relationship. Now we have the tower card here. Wow, there's going to be a tower moment there's going to be a situation, circumstance, or something that puts you guys together or in the same vicinity that is going to transform what it is right now, meaning where you guys are at right now. If there's no communication or if they don't even know that you exist, they're definitely going to take notice. Like I said, there is a situation that may be coming up where the universe brings you guys together uh, and there's going to be this, like I said, this tower moment, this feeling of like, um, your world is being shaken, whether it's positive or negative, let's see. And we have temperance card here. So temperance card can represent um, balance. It could also represent, as you can see here, uh, the angel is holding two cups. Uh, it's kind of like an alchemist, um, you know, one water going or flowing into the other cup, which is reciprocation to me. So I feel that in this connection or this person that you're dealing with or the person of your interest may have experienced, again, like I said, a lot of difficulties in their life. It could have transformed them. It could mean um, that you yourself think they're not interested in you or they themselves think you wouldn't be interested in them. However, there you guys are being spiritually guided at the present time like i said there is there they keep telling me there's a situation that's going to be coming up where the universe is going to kind of make you guys collide at the same time at the same moment um and there is going to be some type of connect some deep type of connection there that is going to bring not only transformative energy to you but as well as to them and it could just be the acknowledgement of understanding how deep this connection actually runs um with the temperance again they're telling me it's reciprocation and there's a rainbow right at the uh the top of the card which represents getting news or being able to see things from a very different perspective perhaps it's a person you've been interested in for a very long time and it's almost like things start to synchronize to bring you guys together. So very beautiful reading, Libra. All right, let's see. Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Spirits, please show me. If the person of interest of Scorpio, their crush, are they interested in Scorpio? 
like I said, if you guys are enjoying these readings, definitely let me know so that I can continue doing these. Um, all right, Scorpio. Your first card here is the Eight of Pentacles. Uh, putting work, it could be that you met this person or that the person you're crushing on is in your workplace. You have the Nine of Pentacles um, and the Ten of Wands. Okay, so what I'm sensing is that this person has a lot of responsibilities. This is a person that has a very strong work ethic. Uh, perhaps that's the reason why uh, they may seem a bit unavailable. And I feel that they're are currently on the pursuit of some type of financial stability, some type of career move that is bringing a lot of burdens, a lot of stress, a lot of, but they're, it's like they're working really hard to the point where work has become their life. And that could be the reason why it may seem like they're not interested in you or it may seem like they're not putting a lot of effort they're being pulled towards it's almost like they have a lot of things going on they have too many things on their plate right now and that could be why um they've either not acknowledged that you're interested in them or they're not really actively pursuing however i do see them uh wanting to either come towards you or wanting to connect with you if there's no communication um and again i feel that if you are dealing with this person in the workplace it could be a representation that there is fear that it may intervene in the workplace or it may affect if things don't go don't go good however i do see them very interested in you and i do see them looking at you as a very good catch all right let's get to sagittarius Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Spirits is the crush or person of interest of Sagittarius. Are they interested in them? Oh, we got a card that popped out here. Okay, so we have the Moon card here. Okay, the next card here is the Hanged Man. And the wheel of the year all right Sagittarius I feel that the person of your interest or the person you're crushing on um, when the moon comes out it has many obviously different symbolizations and, and meanings behind it but what I'm sensing is here with the moon card it could be something that you were wanting to pursue either like in privacy people not knowing um, or that's what they were feeling, what they were wanting to keep it on the down low type of energy with the moon card, things being hidden in the dark. I feel like for some of you guys, this could be you. Um, and the hangman represents not really making a move. It's, it's stalling basically. And it could be that you or this person has been stalling because there's things that are undone, um, things that they don't want you to know or that you don't want them to know. Um, so it's almost like there is a moment of stillness here that's going on. However, things are quickly going to be changing. We have the wheel of the year. So the wheel of the year could represent luck striking for you. It can also represent um, circumstances or situations. As an example, if there's attachments there, if that person has been dealing with an ex or someone from their past, or if you, Sagittarius, has been dealing with an ex or a person from the past, there's going to be circumstances and situations in the next coming weeks where you're going to have a clear insight or an aha moment or a clear, a clarity of mind is what they're telling me, where you're going to know what path you need to walk towards. And for some of you guys, um, it could have been that they were told or information came to them about things that you wouldn't really want them to know. Um, not saying that it's good or bad, but it could just represent that there was some type of sneakiness of information that came to them that made them see you in a very different perspective. However, like I said, things will be clearing up or things will start to fall into place and uh, basically bring you guys together uh, to see if you guys can revisit this connection, okay? All right. Capricorns, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. 
spirit guides is the person of interest or the person they're crushing are they interested in capricorn sun moon rising venus okay your first card here is the emperor card you may be dealing with an aries energy uh, you may be dealing with a person that is of military background or this could just represent that they um, are seeing you very empowered. They're seeing you as an entrepreneur or they see you as a person that has a very strong work ethic, someone that they just cannot fuck with. Um, the next card here is the Knight of Swords. So yeah, they're definitely interested in you, Capricorn. They're stalking your social media. They're looking at what you're doing. They're looking at, you know, even listening to people around them speak about you in such a highly manner that it's making them want to, uh, it's creating more of a strong desire to pursue you, to chase you. If there hasn't been any communication or them taking or making a move, that's quickly going to be changing as I do see them drawing in very quick. It's like, I'm not letting this Capricorn go away. <laughs> I'm not letting them go away. We have the Queen of Swords here. So the Queen of Swords is them deliberating. It's them making the choice. Um, to either, you know, move forward in this connection or to make themselves known. Even if, as an example, you know, this is your crush. It could be that they don't know you're crushing on them, but they are interested in you. And, and surprisingly, it could be that communication opens up. They are cutting the bullshit. If in the past you've dealt with them romantically in some shape, way, or form, it could just represent that things, rumors, or people around you guys created some type of tension. However, they're cutting the bullshit and they're going literally to the horse's mouth, meaning you. They're coming towards you to clarify or to clear the air, clear things up, get information from source, basically from you. So I do see that they are interested in you and they're moving in quick towards you. Okay, let's see Aquarius. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus is their person of interest or their crush interested in Aquarius. We have the Eight of Wands here, quick communication, arrows of love. Uh, I do see passion and desire here coming in very quickly for you guys. You have the World card here and the Four of Wands. Definitely, they are definitely interested in you, Aquarius. Um, they see you or they highly respect you. There is an almost like an innocence to the passion and desire that they have towards you. It could be that they see you in a very innocent way, not innocent like you're innocent, but in the sense of I want to approach Aquarius in the most straightforward way um, because they deserve nothing but, but the truth, that type of energy. Uh, they're definitely coming in if there hasn't been any movement, any communication or anything like that, that's quickly gonna be changing. The world card represents the elevation going towards the four of wands. So I do see that uh, those of you guys that are crushing or dealing with people at the present time, you may be having an elevation of status in this connection, meaning if you guys are friends, it could go from friends to a relationship. If you are in a relationship, it's going to move forward into uh, a committed relationship, some type of engagement. Uh, so very beautiful energy here. All right, now we're going to do Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus spirits. Please show me if the person of interest for Pisces, if their crush is interested in Pisces. Okay. So the first card here is the Seven of Cups. Seven of Cups represents this person has a lot of options, Pisces. The Emperor card here, okay, and the Ace of Wands. So I do see them being extremely physically attracted to you, Pisces. However, I feel that this is a person that pursues their passions and their desires. It is a person that is very, they could come off as very spontaneous. Um, they're extremely stubborn and they're having the opportunity to either want to connect or get deeper into this connection. However, I see them facing their options. So again, uh, I feel that they're entertaining multiple people at the moment. It could be like a player type of energy. 
um, because the emperor does hold a lot of passion, a lot of um, a lot of fire within them, and uh, could be a person that even if they're older, it could represent a person that could be immature in regards to emotional stability. So I see them really looking or contemplating at their options, or they may in fact. Um, be physically attracted to you, but they see more potential in another person that they may currently be dealing with. All right, my lovelies, I hope you guys enjoyed this message. I hope that um, if you did enjoy, like I said, comment below, let me know so that I can continue doing these readings. I wish you guys the very best and we'll see each other soon. Bye.